Hello and welcome to our Venus Romance reading for the full moon in Libra, April 6, 2023. So these readings are always going to be uh, specific to uh, what's going on as far as uh, relationships and romance. Um, and it's more for a generalized collective, but it's obviously going to resonate with who it resonates with, who finds themselves here. Um, and again, if it does not resonate with you, then it's probably not for you. It's not meant for you. So take what you like, leave the rest. Um, but again, these readings are uh, very much surrounding. I, I like to actually do these when we are in some sort of Venus alignment. So full moon in Libra today is Libra's ruled by planet Venus. Venus is the planet that rules over love, relationships, finances, value, what we what you know what we consider to be um you know what we place value on or, or what is you know of value to us uh but also all things uh related to beauty and pleasure and feeling good so libra being ruled by venus also embodies all of those qualities but libra is also represented by the scales so it is about bringing things into a more harmonic balance or resolution and where we need more balance within our lives so being that this full moon which is a time of empowerment as well as a time of completion um, and it's the first full moon in the energetic new year um, being that this is a full moon in libra it is bringing about some culminations, uh, some endings for the rebirth or for a resurrection regarding those areas in specific. So this is also regarding the relationship with yourself. So take this how it applies to you. All right. So I did pull some cards already in advance. And the very first one that flew out of the deck, everybody was the devil. So the devil is all about, you know, to me, it, it does vary depending. Um, sometimes it is about, you know, needing to, you know, feel, you know, seek more uh, pleasure seeking, embodying things that do make you feel good. But because it actually came out with the four of wands, this is a card of uh you know, re uh, reunions and happy families or happy connections and just kind of like being in this, you know, uh, you know, celebration type of experience. First thing that actually got with the devil was that this full moon in Libra is actually asking us to release and and asking it's facilitating the releasing of some karmic partnerships some binds some chains some old patterns some connections and even behaviors and experiences with the self that have really been um taking from your uh, you know your ability to fully embody real love, true love, and have that with a loving connection as well. So it does feel like this is the culmination and the exposure of some toxic patterns, some toxic connections and partnerships that are actually leaving our lives or patterns for those who had been in separation, it's almost like the revel the revelations, the harmony now coming into where there was conflict, where it's going to bring us into union. So again, take it how it applies. For some people, this is about those that were already in separation because of toxic patterns. Um, it's almost like toxic patterns being cleared, being, uh, you know, being more brought into, you know, uh, and toxic, you know, connections. Uh, it's more of like there's these awakenings, these mass revelations that are happening that are bringing people into this space of reunion, the coming back together. Um, so those of you who have been in separation, um, this feels like this could be a time where with the four energy and the wands, all about more ign reigniting passion to bring in a more harmonic relationship to anchor in a more stable connection between the two of you where it's like experiencing a renewal of love of what it is that um, brought you together in the first place but it, there is this resurrection energy so it does feel like it's not the same like the partnership will not be the same when it does go forward so just make sure that that is what it is that's going forward because for some of you this is obviously going to be a recognition of toxic patterns people situations in your life that have to go and it's like with the devil it's like 
breaking away from the intoxication, the addiction of it, the, um, the false perception of relationships um, and what re- love is not. So, you know, remember if there's no changes going forward, there's not that breath of fresh, you know, of life coming back in, that this is probably not meant, that's probably not meant for you. You're probably in the pattern of breaking away so that this can come in someone that is a more loving, more compatible, you know, because when you break those patterns, when you break those chains, recognizing what isn't working for you, bringing yourself into a more harmonic state, you are then dictating that out into the universe or sending it out. And so you then attract to you a more compatible partnership that's honoring how you value yourself and what you see for yourself, what you want for yourself and what you're worthy of. All right. So blessed unions or reunions coming forward with this cycle. Now, I will say that I feel like it's not obviously going to be like overnight, but that it could be. Um, this could be just experienced throughout the month of, um, you know, cause we have a one month cycle from full moon to full moon. However, um, there are some other things that came forward I'm going to talk about, but just as a confirmation, I pulled from other decks as well. And this card is Homeland. It's a master number 44. So it does speak to coming into a union or a oneness. And again, this could be with yourself. If you are walking away from old toxic patterns, behaviors, situations within yourself, not just relationships, but even within yourself, this is a coming back home to self. This is a coming back home. And this allows for higher evolution, ascension towards what is meant for you, more in alignment with your life purpose, your life path, um, and really allowing yourself to be the focus of everything. So putting yourself first and foremost, okay? It says arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building, and settled. So a journey ending, meaning the old cycles are coming to completion. This could be old relationships that are not working anymore, coming to an end so that you are open to loving the self, putting yourself first and foremost, which will attract that harmonious union in the future and the near future, because it does feel like it's in April. Um, But also this could be an ending of the old way that you were engaging in a relationship, the ending of a separation and the coming back together, the coming into union, the coming into um, compromise and understanding and compassion and respect with one another to be able to then journey forward as one card that came along that was reconciliation so it's reconciling either with yourself or resurrection within yourself or reconciliation in a partnership and it says someone from your past is returning to your life so again just all cooperating what I already said with that said get ready because for those of you regardless of you are letting someone go or your reunion with someone this is a time where you are wide open to what is meant to come into your life with that person or with a new love and that is coming through probably sometime around mercury retrograde because that is the card that was pulled and it says uh, this is all usually about like electronic issues communication issues reviewing everything But at that time with Mercury retrograde, it's also the same time as the new moon in Aries, which is also going to be a solar, partial solar eclipse. So facilitating massive shifts and changes. So if you don't see these events that I'm talking about unfolding at this moment, know that it's going to be kind of being wrapped up and up for review around the time of Mercury retrograde on April 20th, April 21st. Okay, so. This also could be expressing that communication is coming through anywhere. There was miscommunication, lack of understanding, a lack of passion, a lack of connectivity, um, a lack of respect or boundaries being honored. This is where it's asking you to review those under this energy of the full moon in yourself and in relationships, what you have allowed and what you will not allow to go forward, which will dictate the type of connection and love you have for yourself and what comes back to you coming forward. But by Mercury retrograde, be prepared to be wined and dine. Be prepared to be swept off your feet. New energy coming in. This says date night. I know it's backwards for all of you, but it says get ready to be wined and dined. So when you make these necessary shifts and changes within yourself and with any connections, new partnerships coming in or old flames coming back in with a renewed zest and passion in that relationship, respect with one another, Be prepared for this to then transcend and transform into quite a beautiful dynamic. 
All right, everybody, that is our Venus love relationship for this full moon in Libra. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and feel free to share. Sending you all love and blessings throughout the month. Take care.